garage at the moment because uh, Mother Nature has given us a nice warm uh, summer day for this July 3rd. I just went out in the garage, 104 or so degrees out there. It's just too hot to do any work. I'm a little afraid to take a day off though. Um, that turns into a couple of days, might turn into a weekend off. Uh, and after a while you end up with a car in your garage that uh, hasn't been touched in a month. So I took a couple of parts that I had. I took the I-beam axle off uh, the front of the car actually. This is the first part that I'm really prepping to get ready to paint. I got this I-beam axle from Oki Joe uh, down south there. He did the drop for me and they put some kind of coating on it. Uh, I'm guessing it wasn't supposed to be permanent. Uh, it's really just been flaking off in my hands as I've been working on the car. So the first job here is going to be just sanding that down trying to get myself to a good substrate. I don't intend on uh, getting this metal down to something that's shiny and smooth. Um, I really like, uh, there's a couple of features on here I really like. The Ford stamp is still in the I-beam here. It's really cool working with uh, metal that I know is from 1930-ish. Uh, axle out uh, from paint. Uh, took it outside and just did a coat of the VHT uh, chassis black I was talking about. Um, I went through a few steps here. Started out with some metal prep after the sanding down. Uh, metal prep kind of helps get into all those crevices. Make sure there's nothing that can't be, no rust that can be converted to something that's paintable. After that, uh, some cleaner and degreaser. Uh, I happen to use Pour 15 products. Um, just because they seem to do the, their jobs. So cleaner, degreaser, scrubbed it all down, and then uh, started spraying some primer on. After the primer, uh, got a little dry, did a few coats of the gloss black. Turned out uh, pretty nice at this point. Uh, so now we're on to uh, getting the spindles back on. Um, yeah, we'll get some spindles on, get some brakes on, um, try and stay out of this heat. All right.
spindles went on pretty smoothly. The only time that I ran into problems were when I wasn't following the instructions. So really important, especially with the spindles, kind of take it step by step. They're designed not to come off the vehicle. Multiple failure points uh, would have to fail for the spindle to actually come off. For that reason, I only wanted to put them on one time. Uh, getting these back off again, uh, they didn't really give you instructions for that, so I didn't want to give it a try. I'm pretty excited. Uh, I've spent a little extra money, maybe a little more than I should have, uh, because this is going to be an open wheel hot rod. For that reason, I knew the front brakes would be visible. Uh, traditionally, there'd be a drum uh, brake, um, or I've seen disc brakes where there are, it's like a vent cover that goes over it. The vent covers are expensive. I'm not really sure why they uh, cost so much. So I decided that, that I wanted to just get a really nice looking disc brake set make it look a little more modern, even though it's an old school hot rod. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be on display. So I'm gonna start putting together uh, the brakes now. Uh, got myself a Wildwood set here. So let's take a peek in, in the box before we put it together. Man, nothing like just seeing some brand new parts coming out go in the car. I think what I really want to look at is there are um, mounting surface for the wheels. That looks like just a box full of bolts, not very exciting. It's a mounting surface for the wheels that are going to go on the spindles here. Oh, very nice, very nice. That looks like the caliper. It's kind of open for black. It looks like it's a gray color. Still looks pretty good. Maybe someday I'll take them off and paint them black. Not today. Looks like something's been nibbling on this one. Hopefully not my garage. Wow. So this is what I'm talking about. These are. Aluminum hubs. Look at that. So I'll have the wheels mounted on there. 